welcome back to my channel so as you can see by the title in today's video i'm going to be doing a review slash uh, update on my tragus piercing it was over a year ago i did a video of me piercing it here's a clip right here of me doing this crazy experiment one two three Basically, in today's video, I'm just going to be answering some questions that you guys had under that video. I really got a lot of questions on, like, if it got infected or if it hurt or, like, the healing process. So, I'm going to be answering those questions for you guys. And, yeah, basically, that's what the video is about. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Let's get this video to, like, 100 likes. And if you're an old subscriber, I thank y'all for subscribing. Y'all also turn on that bell to stay notified when I post. All right, enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and get into these questions. So the first question that I noticed on this video was, how it says, is it safe to use a disposable ear piercer at the tragus area? I would say it's 100% safe because I did it and it's literally nothing wrong with my ear i still having the same regular earring it has a back on it and everything um, so with the whole experience when i got the gun that i showed y'all in the video i got it from a hair store and it was a real earring inside of it i think that's why it was like 20 dollars. it was a real earring um it was real metal but i suggest y'all do that do not get like a hair store earring because that's what i have in right now all of these are hair store earrings but do not get one of those and try to insert it in the gun i suggest you get a real some real earrings probably from like claire's or icing they have real earrings there but you got to make sure you go like behind the counter ask the people that work behind the counter and they give you the real earrings but so that's why it pierced really good with the gun because it was a real earring for one and for two it was an earring that had a sharp end i don't know if y'all know which ones i'm talking about but it's some earrings the, some stud earrings that actually have like a sharp end on it and that's probably why it pierced through my freaking cartilage so easily so yeah that's what i use um i still have a regular earring in it like you can see the back if y'all can see i hope my ears clean y'all but this is the back of the earring i want to get a like real tragus earring um i honestly haven't really looked at any but when it comes to wearing airpods it's gonna go in but it's not gonna stay in it's definitely gonna fall out give it like two minutes it's gonna fall out so when i wear airpods i definitely take my earring out so that i can hear it to its full potential when i leave it in i definitely can't hear the music as good as like i hope to so i definitely take it out when i listen to music y'all do not be scared to press your tragus with the gun because it's gonna be fine i got this earring from sheen y'all i wonder if i could use this for my tragus piercing it's a hoop Hmm, I might have to try it out. The cleaning process. So when it came to cleaning it, I was mostly using um what's that brown bottle of alcohol called? Hold on, let me go look. I really can't think right now. What is it called? I'm about to go show y'all what I'm using. Ta da! It's called hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, I was not gonna remember that, but I was using this to clean it. You can get this from Walmart. We got this one from Target because it say up and up. I know because I used to work at Target. But I was using that and a cotton ball to clean it. You don't really need like any creams or anything, but that's really all I was using to clean it. So, and it's perfectly healed. It's nothing wrong with it at all. So that was a cleaning process. But my ear is literally fine. I can take it out. I could put it right back in like it's nothing wrong with my ear it goes in and out perfectly fine it has also been over a year since i did it but the healing process literally took about six months for it to heal and i was able to take it out with no bleed it wasn't slimy anymore or anything so yeah i would say it's 100 um safe 
It said, was it easy to remove the stud to a normal normal tragus bar? Um, yes, it was easy to remove, but like I said, I didn't get a regular tragus earring. So I'm still just using a regular uh, earring. But I'm pretty sure it would be easy to put in a regular tragus piercing. You just have to know when it's the right time and when it's healed. I say give it at least four months before you check it. Like actually take it out. And sometimes they heal faster, like everyone's different. But I know for me, it took about like four months, four to five months for it to actually heal. The next question is, what's wrong with the angle? Any tips for that? So if y'all see, I'm gonna show y'all this clip, right? Here. It's from a diagonal angle. Like it's supposed to be going this way. The tips I have for you for when it comes to piercing with the gun and the piercing is to put the gun at a deeper angle. I had mine pointed towards this way. So if you point it more outward, it'll pierce straight through, like directly through. It's not gonna go from the sides. So it won't like go straight through your skin. It'll actually go through the cartilage. So that's the tips I have for that. And just make sure you push it all the way down. You wanna close it all the way down because also y'all see how I, I had to pierce it through my actual skin. I didn't pierce it all the way, so. That's another tip I have for y'all, y'all using a gun. Let's see what the next question somebody has. They said, how much different did it hurt from your other piercing? Did it hurt more? So, as y'all can see, I got a lot of piercings in my ear. The most painful piercing to me was definitely this top cartilage because when you sleep on that, it's just not comfortable at all. And I sleep on my side, so that shows you right there but this one literally didn't hurt at all like i did both of my ears myself and i would do it again because it literally didn't hurt yeah i would suggest y'all get the tragus if you're really thinking about it but this one yeah it hurts and that one takes a while to heal too next question is did my ear get infected no it didn't at all so it's been over a year and I still have a regular ear with no titty. <laughs> I was kind of scared or nervous that I was going to get a keloid on it, but I did it. And y'all know I took the other one out on this side because I had it at the wrong angle. My mom told me to take it out. But if I did, I probably would have had a keloid. But it's literally healed though. Like You can't tell I even pierced it. But I might try it again one of these days. But yeah, I think that's all the questions. So no infections. Um, nothing happened. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I would recommend you go to a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Save y'all money and do it yourself because they going to be taxing. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much it. If y'all have any more questions, don't be scared to comment down below because I will for sure get back with y'all. And thank y'all for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and I will see y'all in the next video.